The PC has cemented itself as a catch-all behemoth that need not concern itself with things as trivial as brand identity. Few exclusives avoid being assimilated into the platform's massive catalog, and the number of different genres which play best on PC outnumber the entire genre offerings of other platforms. So, naturally, choosing the games released in the past 10 years, which represent the best the platform has to offer, was no easy task. Here are our top 25 PC games. It's difficult to imagine a more appropriate setting for the bickering, battling, and betrayal synonymous with the Total War series than inside the bloody fantasy universe of Warhammer. The sequel expands that roster even further, topping its predecessor while also working with it to grow the series' scope. Kerbal Space Program is a one-of-a-kind simulator. Its iterative spaceship design gameplay requires math, attention to detail, and intelligent responses to unexpected problems. Deep customization in an extraordinary galaxy allow even casual space nerds to learn and enjoy its intoxicating, challenging, inventive, and adorable brand of space exploration. It took more than a decade for a new Metal Gear game to make its PC, but the series came back in incredible fashion. Metal Gear Solid V is an excellent stealth shooter with missions that you could beat a dozen different ways and still have more to try. Its open world acts as a military playground between ops, and who doesn't love attaching balloons to unsuspecting soldiers? Even more so than its predecessor, Left 4 Dead 2's improved AI director intelligently orchestrates the drama of surviving the zombie apocalypse. It throws endless hordes of diverse and frightening undead at you in a way that keeps tension at panic attack levels throughout. It's one of the most relentlessly entertaining and nerve-wracking co-op experiences available on the PC. The Witness is one of the best puzzle games ever created. Clever design makes even its toughest challenges a joy to solve, but it also recognizes struggle as an important part of the learning process. You're encouraged to carve out your own path on this beautiful open-world island, creating an isolating but incredibly powerful experience. Stardew Valley makes the mundane seem more wonderful. It doesn't reinvent the wheel, but marvelously distills the best essence of Harvest Moon's long genealogy into a simple, accessible, and incomparably addictive game. Tranquil and purposefully provincial, Stardew Valley celebrates the simple joy of watching the fruits of your labor grow. Undertale is a delightfully inventive exercise in subverting our expectations of RPGs. Its design knows you're playing a game and messes with you at every turn, remembering your saving habits and constantly adjusting itself in surprising ways. An involving and emotionally charged story thematically supports Undertale's underlying message. Every choice you make matters. When you play FTL faster than light, you shouldn't expect to survive, but you should expect great, memorable stories. The times you succeed with a killer beam weapon combo that cuts enemy ships to ribbons or fight off an enemy boarding party become even better when you realize how much the deck is stacked against you. After Diablo 3's historically disappointing launch, a series of redesigns and the Reaper of Souls expansion turned it into the best isometric action RPG on any platform. Frequent legendary item drops challenge us to reevaluate skill choices. Greater rifts infinitely test our monster slaying potential, and seasons provide a consistent source of new content. <laughs> Civ 5 is still the king of the modern 4X strategy genre. It takes the depth that makes 4X strategy amazing and joins it with a simplicity that allows anyone to get a lot out of it. Refined combat, an intuitive UI, and a fantastic hex-based map system all improve on previous Civ's already addictive formula to create something truly special. Like Fallout 3 before it, Fallout New Vegas throws us into a harsh post-nuclear America. It tells an excellent story where the fate of the Nevada wasteland is determined by our choices. With improved combat and some amazing modding work by the community, it becomes more than just more of the same. After a year in early access, Divinity Original Sin 2 has emerged as one of the greatest RPGs of all time. It masterfully mixes the feel of old-school CRPGs with more modern mechanics and designs. With six different origin characters, custom tags to make your own, and over 74,000 lines of fully voiced dialogue, there's a whole lot to keep coming back to. Huh. Sharp eyes, lad. But they can't keep the likes of us locked up too long, I'll wager. Rarely has procedural level generation been so cleverly and expertly executed as it is in Spelunky. Every stage is a nail-biting, hair-pulling, timed race to the bottom, demanding the player quickly choose between new risks and rewards. Crammed with traps, deadfalls, and secrets, Spelunky demands months of obsessive dedication to master. XCOM 2 builds on the brilliant, high-stakes tactical combat of XCOM Enemy Unknown, and its War of the Chosen expansion made it even better. It adds not just complexity in the form of new and more powerful soldier classes and aliens, but also a huge focus on replayability thanks to procedurally generated maps, tons of random events, and of course, mods galore. Mass Effect 2 struck a perfect balance of all the things we love about the series. No other team shone quite as brightly as the ragtag one you assemble on the second Normandy, each of whom have compelling stories to tell and problems to solve. It's a peak the Mass Effect series may have trouble ever topping. The sense of freedom Skyrim bestows on players goes beyond the open-ended nature of its main quest, seeping into its many magic and melee systems and even your character's domestic life. On PC, that freedom extends even further thanks to a rich and sometimes hilarious modding community. 
GTA V's sprawling yet meticulously detailed map is the high bar to which all other open world games aspire, and it's incredibly dense with excellent content. With so much to do, explore, and play with, both in single player and multiplayer, plus great creative tools and mods, it's truly amazing on multiple levels. With a fantastic lineup of memorable characters and meticulously balanced abilities, Overwatch is a shooter that bobs and weaves almost perfectly between being the quick-fix adrenaline hit you might want after a long day of work, and the thoughtful strategic multiplayer experience that becomes the center of evening-long binges with friends. Twenty years down the line, the documentary that looks back on the beginning of esports will credit League of Legends as the tipping point. League took the popular MOBA formula and tweaked it to make a more accessible game that still offers immense depth. Its 100 plus champions are fun, varied, and tough to master. Spend some quality time with Dota 2 and you'll understand the enrapturing appeal of MOBAs. Though all matches take place on one map and there's only one objective, its 100 plus characters and thousands of item combinations make for some of the most strategic gameplay around. Every second and every decision matters. The Witcher 3 has everything. Massive RPG sandboxes generously dotted with monsters to slay and mysteries to solve, nuanced, layered characters with reams of excellently written and performed dialogue, and impossibly high-quality art, writing, and acting across the board. Few games can deliver quantity and quality quite like this. There's a reason CSGO has maintained such astronomical popularity. It's one of the most focused and technical first-person shooters out there. The level of depth at play in these fast-paced matches doesn't just make it one of the toughest competitive shooters to master, but also the most rewarding. Even though it's still in early access, PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds has quickly become one of the most popular games on PC. The Battle Royale shooter wonderfully mixes frantic, permadeath firefights with long, tense sections of preparation. That prep time is made even more fun in squads of two or four, because chicken dinner always tastes more delicious when shared with friends. Minecraft is excellent for many reasons, but the most important is that it both encourages and enables a childlike sense of wonder. You can take into a randomly generated landscape and reshape it in any way you can imagine, piece by piece. Or you can dig deep into the ground to find treasure and fight monsters. It's a bottomless pit of entertainment. Portal 2 claims the top spot of IGN's top 25 modern PC games because, in the past decade, nothing else has struck so many chords as well as Portal 2. Its impeccable level design, charming personality, and exceptional and varied puzzle systems make us feel smarter just for getting through it. Plus, its co-op campaign requires a different sort of smarts that remains one of the best multiplayer experiences around. Those are our picks. With the multitude of different experiences that the PC offers, your list might look dramatically different than ours. So, tell us your favorite PC games released in the last decade in the comments, and be sure to check out our top 25 lists for all the console platforms, too. For all things PC gaming, keep it right here on IGN.